Hello, joyous feast. This is Father David uh, here on day seven of the Nativity Fast, which uh, for those of us on the uh, revised Julian calendar, sometimes called the new calendar, uh, we celebrate today the feast of the entrance of the Theotokos in the temple. We have uh, here our festival icon here, and the church uh, decked out in blue. This is a feast on the 21st of November. And the reading in our document for today uh, comes from the Festal Menaean. In, in other words, the text that contains all of the hymns that have to do with the great feasts of the church. And so for that, we have uh, the... Uh, from St. George of Nicomedia, his hymn, which reads as follows. Today let heaven above greatly rejoice and let the clouds pour down gladness at the mighty acts, exceeding marvelous of our God. For behold, the gate that looks east, born according to God as his dwelling, is led today into the temple as an offering without blemish. Within the tabernacle of God, within his place of propitiation, she shall be brought up to become the dwelling place of him who, has be who was begotten of the Father without change before all ages for the salvation of our souls. This, of course, is a feast of the Mother of God and her entry into the temple is meant to show for us a few things. Firstly, that she who enters into the Jewish temple, the temple that was uh, designated and planned by God himself to image, to be an icon of heavenly worship, she who is going to be the new temple goes into the temple. All of this imagery is meant to point us. She is going to be the dwelling place of God. So this is, you know, for us, a, a hearkening to this, to look at this. We will hear, uh, we did hear at Vespers the night before, that you know, the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord. And the uh, prophet says, and I fell on my face. And then another, in another place, there was in Ezekiel chapter 44, the prophecy said that the gate facing the east, a preparation, the east, of course, being where the sun rises, the light of day comes, the gate facing the east, the prince enters and eats bread before the Lord and no one else will enter through that gate. It shall be shut. And this woman was only dedicated to the one pregnancy, the one birth giving of the God man. She was set apart for just this one Prince of Heaven to be the gate facing the East, to be the tabernacle, the tent, the temple. But it also shows us that you, know, you and I are meant to be temples of the Holy Spirit. This is what St. Paul tells us. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? You were bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body. And when I was in seminary, Father John Bear. Uh, preached a sermon on this very feast and said, you know, in order for us to be little Christs, to be, uh, you know, little uh, Christs, which is Christians, we have to be little Marys. You know, she gives herself over to the angel's word at the Annunciation. She is devoted to no other political party, no other human effort, but the work of God in his temple. So we, if we are going to be 
temples of the Holy Spirit, we have to be about the business of dedicating our words to that which is glorifying to God and loving towards our neighbor. Our minds have to be dedicated to that which is pleasing to God and not meditate on selfish or angry or vengeful imaginations. Our hearts have to be forgiving instead of hardened in resentment. And all of this is the way that, you know, we take these broken down uh, rooms of our hearts and we remodel them. We create within ourselves, God being our helper, a suitable temple for him to dwell in. This can be a lifelong process. But in order for us to be as Our Lady, a suitable temple for the presence of God, we're preparing ourselves. This is what we do when we come to confession, which is a good thing for all of us to do during the time of the Nativity Fast to make an honest appraisal of where we are and how, with God's help, we could take a step forward to lay aside those addictive behaviors, those habitual sins that we cling to, and to make ourselves ready and suitable and cleaned out temples of the Holy Spirit. So God bless you, Lord willing. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.